Hi guys, thanks for joining me. We are going to paint the picture that I drew yesterday. So, got some water, paint, watercolor paint, um, and paper towel, and we're good to go. So, I like to start with the flowers first, and then I go into the stems and the leaves. Um, you definitely can do it backwards or whatever. Maybe it's just the mood I'm in, then I decide. But today, I feel like hitting the flowers first. So, I'm using about this size brush. All right, um, get right to the water here. I'm going to go with like kind of pinkish color flowers, pinky, orange, a little bit of red. Um, I'm gonna start first by just like wetting the flower. I'm gonna start like just in the middle. So this is like a wet on wet kind of style. So wet paint onto a wet paper. You can go wet on dry where your paper is dry and your paint is wet. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of activate this older paint that's on here, make myself a little like section of this kind of color we're going with and see what I dab in here. I'm gonna zoom in a little. It like spreads kind of nicely. It's almost like alcohol ink. All right, and if I wanna go a little darker, I grab a little more paint, but less water the center of it and then I want it to go lighter as it goes up so whenever I'm out of frame with my hands just trust that I'm just like in the water I just can't fit everything in the frame here okay I'm gonna grab a little yellow make another little area with a little bit of this red so I have a couple Eventually we'll have a couple different colors. I like go over things and I, I rarely wash this plastic piece. I have recently, but there was a time where like the whole thing was completely covered in all these different colors because it's such light amounts of color that if you hit it, it doesn't really make too much of a difference where it changes the color too much. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that color for the center. Now I'm just gonna go in with just water because I want the tips of this orangey kind of flower to be very light. So I literally have no paint on my brush right now. I just grabbed some water and I'm pulling the paint from the center out to kind of give this flower the effect of like a really dainty light petal towards the end. Some flowers are darker in the middle, lighter on the inside. Some are, you know, lighter on the inside, darker on the outside. So you can see how watercolors, like you use very little paint. Like I've had this kit for like five years and I'll probably have it for five more. And you can watercolor anywhere. Like I've done it on the train, I've done it on a plane. <laughs> you just bring a little bit of watercolor paper, ask for water and do your thing. So I still have not touched any paint on the palette. I'm just using water on my brush and pulling paint from the center. So the other day, someone commented on one of these videos, I think it was this one, or maybe the one before, they said, I love your nails, like what color are you wearing? So today I'm like thinking, oh my gosh, like I got like this nail pressure. So like I had like really chipped bad nails, so I like went over with another coat. <laughs> I felt the pressure to keep like these nails looking good for these videos. And like I'm one to be known for having like chipped nails all the time. So I don't know, I gotta try and like, keep them nice for these videos. I didn't really think about people noticing my nails. So I painted over them. And you know when you paint over like a chipped nail, it like looks good from afar, but when you get up close, it's like, ew. So yeah, they're kind of fake right now, but they do look nice from maybe your view. But then I like started prepping for the video and like I just kept nicking them and now they're just like really bad. Painted over chipped nails and all nicked up. So anyways. Got to just share that. It's funny what we do sometimes. Anyhow. Okay. So I'm liking the way this looks. The great thing about watercolors, you can like keep adding like, okay, maybe I want to go a little like pinker in the middle. So now I'm going to wet my brush. I don't have a pink per se right in here. I only have white to make a pink, but I kind of have this reddish pink kind of color. So I'm going to kind of get this moving again and I'm going to water it down a lot so that it's not like a super dark color. 
there. Now I'm self-taught. I never went to school for art. I know when I started sketch here in the city, people said, oh, like, did you go to school for art? And I was just kind of like, no, I just like love art and I know how healing it is and it's relaxing. So I'm very self-taught. My methods might not be proper. I'm not claiming to like totally, you know, maybe give you the exact proper way, but what is proper way when it comes to art? I don't know if there is. Just trials and errors and anyhow. So play around with the different colors. I'm liking that. I'm gonna let this dry a little cause I wanna go in with some other color, but if you keep adding color with the water, it just keeps like saturating and uh, makes your, your paper wetter and you can you can only do so much with this right now. So we're gonna let that dry and I'm gonna move to the next one. And then later we'll go back and paint these like folded parts of the flower a darker color. All right, I'm gonna stick with the same colors because it's from the same plant. So most of the time, sometimes plants have different colors on the same branch, but that's just what I'm gonna do. So my kids are napping right now. Not my 16 year old, but my twins. And every nap time I go and do a quick workout in my driveway and then I come and paint or draw or do beads or clay. So it's been fun having you guys join me, even though I'm just talking to myself in my camera, I feel like you're kind of here with me. I do have Raya. I'm going to show you her. She's right next to me. Hey, Raya. Hi. So pretty. Anyway, so she's listening to me talk away to you guys. <laughs> All right. How am I doing, Raya? Yeah. Okay. And I'll be honest, I started the video twice now. I didn't paint, but like my intro is like really dumb the first time. I don't know, it's like, how do you start the video? Like, hey guys, like, hi, like, how's it going? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta have like that same intro. I gotta like find my bit. I'm used to doing fitness videos, so this is very new to me. We got some chill cow on. I told you about it in the last video, chilled cow, best playlists. I got my tea, hopefully you do, got my watercolor brushes, and I'm actually sitting at the kids' table, just so you know, it's kind of weird, it's knee-high, but for filming, like, I, it just works. So I'm higher than the table, and I can, like, reach down. Anyways, off topic, so I got rid of all the paint on my brush, now again, I'm just going to pull paint from the inside, because I want to have it really light and delicate. And you could not even pull paint from the center and just kind of use that little bit of color that's on your brush to make it very light and dainty and like just these really beautiful leaves where the color is barely there. Just like that. And now go in and kind of tie it in with the other one. Pretty. See how easy that is? When people like come into sketch and do watercolor lessons with me, well, not so much lessons, but I like show my methods and just sit down and like inspire them. They're just like stunned on how easy watercolor is. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so good at this. Everyone can do watercolor. It's almost like just coloring with a marker. It's so great. Okay. These are looking cute. Little different color than that one. I'm kind of digging it. Okay. This last one's kind of like a budding one, right? It's not quite bloomed. So I'm going to keep it pretty dark. I'm not going to have much and I'm going to go wet on dry for this one. I'm not going to start with water on the page because I just want this one to be like really dark. It hasn't bloomed yet. It hasn't had time to lose its color. Um, I'll go like so. So it's Easter tomorrow. And I'm really excited because my girls are finally old enough to understand Easter and like all that. So me and Raya are going to like hide little... Well, we got them Shopkins. Well, actually, it's Raya's old Shopkins, so bonus. I didn't have to, like, spend money. I just got un went under the house to the crawl space and got all Raya's old Shopkins from when she was little. And we're going to put them in those little plastic eggs and hide them around the yard and in the house, and they're going to love it. So I'm kind of excited to do that. You, Raya? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can talk. We're just chilled cows here. <laughs> So we're going to hide these eggs all over and I can't wait because I haven't done it in a while. It's like the last time I did it when with Raya was little. So we get to like do it together now, which is like the coolest thing. Yeah, I want these videos to be like super chill. Raya can talk. My dog might bark. 
So if he does, sorry. So far he's being really good. And there's a dog walking by right now as we speak, actually. Good boy. Okay, you want to see a peek of the dog? Hi, Fern. Hello. Hello. He's ignoring me. Us. Okay, back to the painting. So we almost have our flowers done, then we'll hit the leaves. I don't want this video to go too long, so I'm trying to like work fast. But if you're following along, I don't want you to be like, ah, but I guess you could pause it. Okay, pretty happy with those. Now let's go back and work on the folded petals on this one. I'm gonna go in with like a dark color, not much water. And if your thing kind of like right here has a lot of water, you just gotta go in and grab paint and no water. Kind of thicken it up. All right. Now this part's folded, this, this flower's dry right now. If it was wet and I started doing this, it might pull the paint into the wet area and wreck the center of the flower. So that's why I let it dry. Now I can come back. Good. So beautiful. Oh, it's so relaxing to paint. It just like resets me for the rest of the day with the kids once they're up. It's a pretty high energy. All right, don't you lose me here in the video. I gotta keep an eye on this filming too. So zoom in a little. But yeah, when one twin isn't scheming up something, the other one is. All right. Oh. Yeah, that's a good point. Where I just <laughs> mentioned if a kid is watching this and I'm talking about Easter and hiding the stuff. Well, sorry if I ruined it for your kid. Um, oops. I can't really r get rid of that part. <laughs> so maybe I'll have to put an adults only exclamation or thing on this video so kids don't watch it. Well, I feel like if you're painting or drawing with me, you're probably of the age that you know, like there's not a big bunny sneaking in your house and hiding things. It's like on Curb Your Enthusiasm. We watched that the other night. Um, what's his name, Raya? Larry. He ruined it for his neighbor, Easter Bunny. Oh no, it was the Tooth Fairy. Never mind. Okay, now that this flower's dry, I'm going back and adding like a little bit of darker colors to it. I could go where th some of these like folds are and kind of like give them a little bit of, you know, oomph. I was like thinking before I started, I'm like, I'm not gonna say the word schleck again because like, I feel like I've been saying it in every video and like, what even is a schleck? So, but I said it, but not really. Okay, let's zoom out now a little bit here, bring you back to what I'm looking at. Okay, what do you guys think? So far so good? I could go in and like highlight these little seeds, a little bit of this darker red. So far, it is great. We got this bud here too, we can't forget about it. And then we'll hit the leaves and the stem and then we'll be all done. If your brush ever feels too wet, too much paint, you just take some off and wipe it on your paper towel like so. Okay, because it was getting a little too wet and a little too thick. All right. Here we go. Okay. We got this dark red in here. I want to add a little bit of that to this bud. All right, so. Now, if you're painting, tag me, even if it's not something that you followed in here, like I wanna see everybody's art. It sounds so like cheesy, like oh, it makes me so happy, but it like really does. Especially when people say like, you inspired me to paint. I'm just like, oh, it makes me feel good because I know how beneficial it is for me. So knowing it does that for other people and when they say like you inspired me to do it, it makes me really happy. If you want to get a watercolor kit and you're not sure which one, message me and I can send you an Amazon link. The set I have is like was like 30 bucks and it's, I love it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Feeling good. Like I should. 
See how stuff dries? Sometimes it starts to look a little flat and then you can go in with those darker colors, kind of add a little more depth to them. I like saying the word depth. Let me paint with you guys, depth. Adding a little depth. All right. I like when you're here, Raya. Makes this a little more, you know, real. Yeah, feel free to add in any, anything. You got a joke for us? No, on the spot, no. Okay. Feel bad about the Easter Bunny thing, but what am I gonna do? I don't know. Cut it out? No, there'll be a big chunk of the video missing. I'll just put it in the description of the video to beware. Okay. All right, let's go on to the stem. I'm going to start with the stem and then the leaves. I want to go like a brownie gray. Like, I don't know. I'll use this area. It's looking like a good color, actually. It's probably some green, a little bit of like, like black, brown. I don't want it quite a brown stem, kind of like a brownie green. So I'm feeling. There we go. Okay. So we'll start at the bottom. Again, I'm just doing a wet on dry. So my paper's dry, my brush is wet. I'm gonna go in just with like the dark stuff and then I'm gonna lighten after. And you know what? That might be backwards. So if you're a watercolor pro, like, you know, don't be hating. Because I know I can go wet on wet first and add the dark after. There's definitely many methods of doing this. But this is my mood today. Dark first. <laughs> Good. This little leafy branch, I'm going to do the same color and I'll darken it up after a little bit more. So I'm not coloring the whole stem in. I'm just kind of like hitting some of the areas. What kind of tea are you guys drinking? I have, it's called like spiced bangle cat or spiced bangle tiger, bangle. I don't know. It's like a spicy tea, naturally decaffeinated, but it's like so good. Have you tried one yet, Rye? Yeah, I love it. I love it. You said it had a bit of a weird aftertaste. I don't really taste it. I, it, I thought it did. What? I thought it had a pretty weird... Pungent? <laughs> so have you had it since or no? No. Oh. Like it tasted good, but like, I don't know. I like it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with a little more green. Or this like bluey kind of blacky. Some areas a little darker that I feel like this leaf. Whoa, what's that? The whole house is shaking. Sometimes like when cars go by with like super loud music, it like shakes my whole house. All right. Whoa, we're at 18 minutes. Oh, I gotta be moving. Moving and improving. All right. So I can instruct each move I make, but it's kind of like, I don't know how to really do that the whole time. Just kind of watch and learn, I guess. But I'm just adding some colors around. If you think of a branch that has different colors, it might have little chunks of this, chunks of that. Okay, now I'm going to completely clean my brush and just go in again with like a dry or wet brush with no paint and kind of pull some of the paint that's on there into the white areas. Because I don't want it to be white, but I don't want every part of this like really dark. Does that make sense? Do, 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 do. Good. Pretty, pretty, pretty content with this. Okay, let's go to the leaves. I'm doing a lot, uh, like a Zoom art hangout tonight. I'm nervous, but excited. I'm nervous because I'm like, is anyone going to show up? And then I'm excited because it's like, this is going to be a fun way to connect with people. Um... Actually, let's go this light color like this. Let me zoom out a little so you can see. Ooh, that's in. Yeah, so it's at 8 o'clock tonight. So if you watch this today, by any chance, the day before Easter, I'm going to do it tonight at 8 o'clock. 
you can DM me for the login info. But I think it'll be neat because, you know, some of us are tired of just hanging out with the same people every day. Not you, Raya. I could hang out with you every day. But you just to chat with some other ladies. So again, I'm doing a wet on dry method. I didn't wet my paper first. I just want it nice and solid. It was lighter green. So yeah, you could be doing painting, you could be drawing, you could be knitting or sewing, or maybe you're just gonna hang out and drink a tea. But I just thought it'd be fun to like chat with people and talk, see each other. And I'm gonna paint this pottery mug I have. But you could really do anything. Okay, so it's going good. Then I'm gonna go on those folds with a darker green. So we're flying kites yesterday. It was so fun. Like, I don't know when the last time you flew a kite was, but I was like on a high. Like it was so windy and they were so far. The kids were laughing and we were laughing. It was just such a good time. So we're hoping that the wind picks up today. So after nap, we can do some more of that. I like want to be like a weird person and collect like a whole bunch of kites now. I don't know if that's weird, but it's like, ooh, a new collection. Shall I zoom in a little? All right. So just coloring, basically like coloring. I'm just sticking with the same color for all these leaves. And I folded this piece of paper like a card again. So I'm gonna have all these cards. So when I need to give a card to someone, even for like a wedding, you could give this, like it's beautiful. You should never buy a card. Sorry, card industry, if I'm ruining it for you, but to spend six, eight bucks now cards cost, like when you can just like whip one up in five minutes, like why? And this is a beautiful card. Just beautiful. Okay, doing good. Okay, let's go in with a bit of a different green. Ooh, am I making you guys dizzy? Okay. La, 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 this guy over here. And I'm just gonna change up the one I'm already working with. I'm not gonna use that color anymore. I'm going to kind of highlight the center a little. A little bit going out, you know, like it's darker color in here. Whoa, pretty. All right. Just keep moving that paint around. You can't really go wrong. There's no rules here. All right. Okay. I'm really happy with this. And I hope you guys are happy with your painting. Um, we gotta do the outsides of these leaves. I'm gonna fold it over. I'm gonna go even like a different color. Good. So fun. And pretty. I usually eat when I paint, but I don't want to be chomping away here. <laughs> you guys are listening. Oh, that'd be so annoying. But I'm definitely craving, like, I usually have, like, chocolate or, like, carrots or, like, something. When I'm painting, it's like you just grab it, chomp on it a little. I feel like it just goes well with it. I don't know. Okay, guys. I'm feeling great about this painting. I think it turned out pretty, pretty nice. I'm glad you joined me here, and I hope you learned something. Maybe to see how easy this really is. Um, I'm just using a bit of water right now to kind of soften so there's not such a thick cut between the two greens. 
Like if you see here, let me zoom in a little. Ooh. There's kind of like this line you can see. So if I go in with like a semi wet brush, you don't want it super wet and kind of like, you know, brush it up a little. So it's not so thick there. Good. And I tend to always like kind of finishing my paintings with like a little splatter. I don't know. I just, that's just my style. So I'll go in with like whatever, like for this one, I want to do a little red. So I'm just going to put a little bit of like watery paint on. It's hard to do this with the camera. And then I'm just going to kind of hit it. I think it just gives it like a, here you'll see in a second. I don't know, something about it makes me, I'm just hitting this. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Right? Cool. Very good. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Oh, whoa, 25 minutes. I don't know if I kept anyone here that long, but for some of you, maybe it was just the right amount. Okay. Have a great day. We'll see you guys back here soon and comment below, you know, if you have any questions or something you want to see me draw or paint. If not, I'm going to stick with the flowers because that's what I love and potted plants. Have a good day. Bye.